Welcome to Talking Beards, an entertainment news podcast all about the facial hair lifestyle and the people who use their beards and mustaches to help change the world. Join your hosts, World Goatee Champion Aaron D. Johnston and two-time National Goatee Champion Scott Sakura as they talk about all the important issues in the community from charity events, competition news, styling tips, breaking news, and much more. Tune in every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern as we stream live on all social media platforms as well as TalkingBeards.com and answer all of your questions. Join in our chat room and be a part of the show each week as we give away great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. I am your host, Aaron D. Johnston, and I am Scott Sakura, and we are Talking Beards. Tickle me blue on this episode of Talking Beards. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is episode number 313 of Talking Beards. I am live, and I have a Natalie backdrop tonight. Look at that. She's back there. Apparently, that's where she decided to, to hang out, so that's that's what we're doing. And uh, Yeah, we're ready. What's up, Scott? Oh, hi, everyone. I'm Scott. Hello, Scott. What I said, trick or tr- treat or trick, because why can't it be that? Oh. Why couldn't it be Tickle Me Elmo? I don't know. Alan D. Eckert is here. He's in town. Hey, hey, Alan, we're also in town. Are you, you guys don't are bringing, a tattoo. You're bringing no. your kidneys together? Yeah, your kidneys are going to be together. But yeah, don't, don't get a tattoo, Alan. Don't do it. What's up, Scott? Oh, my. Excuse me. I burped. Look at this. Tricks. It's snowing in Ohio. That's what I was telling Aaron. I mean, that's what I remember about Ohio. It's either, or I was saying that to MJ, but. Like growing up as a kid, it was either snowing while you were trick or treating, or it was pouring rain, or it was like eighty five and sunny. So we get apparently that we for trick or treating today in Ohio we have snow, and there might as well be snow in Texas because it's freaking freezing outside. It too. was crazy. It was super cold in Austin today. How how uh, how was that? Yeah, it was. It sucked, but. Once again, everyone was like, oh, we're from Ohio, so this is like... And I'm like, no, it sucks still. And that was exactly when you hopped on earlier. That was pretty much what I started with. You're like, it yeah. was super cold at work today. I'm like, you should be used to this. I mean, yeah, you've only been in Austin for two years. You should, I'm, you know. Yeah, and I'm used to like... I've been used to like 102, 103 degrees. So it's like, and now it's all of a sudden, it's it was like 36 yesterday morning and that's crazy this morning. yeah and now everyone in austin is going to be super sick because what it's supposed to warm right back up in a couple days right yeah by sunday it's supposed to be 82 <laughs> that sucks but we would have this back in ohio Halloween. well back in ohio and i'm sure mj can attest to this too because i'm sure it, it's happened up there a few times you'd get like one day it'd be like 20 degrees or 10 degrees and then the next day it was like 85 it just like you get these weird sp- it's global warming, Aaron. It's global warming. That's Greta why Thunberg's was, fault. That's why it was 40, 40 degrees in, in Austin today because mm-hmm. of global warming. That's why that bird pooped on me. Global warming. Global warming. But everyone, global. welcome welcome to Talking Beards. Thank you guys all for tuning in. You can go check us out live at TalkingBeards.com. Or if you want to interact well with here. people such as Adam right here. Four seasons in a day. That's Ohio. There you, you can go. go over to Facebook or YouTube and search for uh, Talking Beards and hit the button, follow us, like us, and then you can start uh, joining everyone in the chat room. But, uh... oh. What? What's that on the back of your head? This? Yeah, can you show? Yeah, I can. So I got these new hats that'll that'll be at Nationals. I got a leather patch on it. It was pretty cool. Wow. Are those for sale? Are they, they are. going they're, to be for sale? They're going to be for sale. They're $25. They're Richardson 112 hats. They're super nice. Uh, you don't have to wear them backwards. You can actually wear them either way. That's super crazy. But and is I that going weird. to be like a limited time only hat Absolutely. specifically this that is- you can only get at Nationals? Yeah, pretty much. If um, Unless I don't sell them all, and then uh, you'll be able to get them at the next couple of events. But yeah, they were bought specific, sp- specifically. specifically for nationals. And uh, yeah, we've got a few of them and stop by the table this weekend at nationals and then pick one up. 
Yeah, and uh, for everyone else, if you don't get your hat, they have other assorted hats over at uh, honestamish.com. You can go through all the wonderful and great products they have there available. And when you're checking out, make sure you use promo code Talking Beards and you will get yourself 15% off your entire order and free shipping in the continental United States if you spend more than 35 whole dollars. That's Man, you, honest, uh, honest you, com. Yeah. That is such a great job. Yeah. So. And, and, Everyone always, this is like key, key, key thing. I mean, big, I mean, big, there was an article about the beard. There was a whole article and they used MJ as the cover. Look at that. Now look at that. Try fat. Full circle of how it all works. Like we start, I start a podcast about beards and then it turns into a talk show about beards. And then Aaron and I become close friends and then we start doing all this stuff and then it becomes the beard calendar. And then in the middle of there, MJ took a picture and then it's like, oh my gosh, all the stars align. There it is. All the stars. I just babbled like crazy there. But anyways, beardcalendar.com. If you guys want, you can take that off. It was up there long enough. It was but, up there uh, long. Yeah. If you guys want to know more information about any beard competition that's going on in the world for the most part. Uh, from now for the next year, if not more, uh, go to thebeardcalendar.com. Or if you have an event you want to share, you can do it there. That there you go. That was that was beautiful. I I think that was a commercial right there for the beard yeah, calendar. Was, um, I I had a lot of candy today. So we tried to get some candy today, and, and a bird pooped on you. And a bird pooped on me. No, right before the bird pooped on me, I tried to buy a bag of candy from the grocery store, and apparently. There was none. So do you, do you have, are you, you going to get trick or treaters tonight? Scott Sakura? No, I, I, I miss trick or treating. Like I used to growing or growing up was a lot of fun and like it kind of lost its whole fizzle for me. And I was talking to someone at work today and, and I was just like, Halloween were just my, my jam with Halloween. It was being with my niece and nephew and going trick or treating with them. And it was like, that was like, they made that holiday so crazy special and fun. And just growing up with them from being like, just little, little kids up to, they were in their teens and just being there every Halloween with them and, and seeing their costumes and walking with them and then handing you were like the like, you're like the the big the big brother type yeah dude that, I, was, that, that was the cool part yeah so but yeah when was the last time you think you dressed up and went trick-or-treating how old were you uh that was uh, that had to be like the six seven eight years ago with Lucas ago? yeah no I meant like like you dressed up and went trick or treating still? Yeah, I was going up like George. you, not with like oh. taking someone like as a little Scott C. Sakura with your I, little boo bucket and your your Elmo costume. I on. feel like it. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> the just went. I feel like it was in high school, and I feel like we all dressed as Amish people too. Really? That or that reminds me. This is probably a story I haven't told either. Yeah, let's hear it. For okay, so for uh our senior year in high school, we decided that for uh Halloween we were all gonna dress up as Amish, and our friend who had a minivan was gonna go around and pick us all up in the morning and then drive us all to school and drop us off at the front door. And that's what happened because <laughs> the Amish get picked up in the morning by the bus and get uh-huh. dropped off at work. And mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, we all, and we even had a group of girls, God bless them. They looked so cute that dressed, they went as Amish girls. So there was like about, I think eight or eight of us. And then I think there was like four or five girls that dressed as Amish. And it was real easy to get this stuff because a few towns over, there was an Amish community, and we had tons. Yeah, you of just go to the store and go buy Amish clothes. Yeah, they I'm, make their own clothes, Aaron. Mm-hmm. No, you can't just go to the store. Hey, can you go to the Amish store? Yeah, up on the corner, and they sell like on one side of the aisle. They have all their uh, um, cooking stuff, flowers, and all that stuff. Um, the grocery yeah. store I get the the big donuts in Greenville. They definitely have a section of clothing for Amish people. In that in that grocery store, it's an Amish grocery store. I got a hat there. 
Oh, see, Andrew says there were 2,000 kids causing a ruckus at the Mall of America tonight. So him and MJ were out there earlier knocking kids around. Andrew and MJ are freaking beating up kids in the Mall of America. Good that God. sounds like that sounds like a good TV show. I'd watch it. Andrew and MJ's mess around. Yeah. So, <laughs> but, all right. So enough talking about Halloween. Uh, yeah. Aaron, so Aaron, uh, you guys are already on the beginning trek of what you guys are going to be doing this weekend. And that's yep. the 2023 Honest Amish National Beard and Mustache Championships. Yeah. So we're, you guys, we're already here. So to what, like, so as we do at the beginning of our show, we talk a little bit about what we're doing right now. And I was just, we were talking about Halloween and stuff, but we are here for a specific person or specific reason and a specific person. One of the biggest events in the United States for the bearding community is coming this up. This is the biggest event in the United States for the beard community. I think. Not That's every Tuesday at 8 PM on talking Ooh. beards. Wow. <sighs> I'm just going to leave here. Man. I kicked myself out. Well, uh, yeah. Besides us, obviously, I was talking about like an event. We're not an event. We're just like a well-calculated, you know, well-oiled machine of a show that, that comes on all the time. With backdrop Natalie's. Boom. Well, <laughs> I squeeze your head. <laughs> squeeze your head. What's up, Rim Job? Rim Job Rob's gonna be here soon. Oh my god, baby! Yeah, so start start uh, yeah. telling us a little bit about like you getting down there and what what you got going on for the next sure. couple of days and what you guys got planned and yeah. So uh, we, into our guest, we came on down to Daytona because obviously we got talking beards to do today. So I was like, well, I gotta get down to Daytona so I can do talking beards. But uh, so what happened was uh, Natalie's aunt was actually going on a vacation with her friend this week and uh, they were going to go to some other town and some other place. And we're like, that is the same week leading up to nationals. How about you just come to nationals? And they're like, <gasps> sounds good. So Natalie's aunt and her her friend are down here and uh, we went ahead and came on down. We got set up. Uh, most everybody else is going to be kind of coming in Wednesday. So we've got a couple of rooms here in Daytona and we're going to fill it full of bearded people. And, uh, RJR has a few friends, a few, and, a few uh, of us. We, yes. So today just hanging out, doing talking beards and that's it tomorrow. I think it's just going to be people coming in, getting ready. And then to your room. Yeah. Everybody, wow. everybody's just going to pile in here. As Natalie already claimed her spot in bed, so she no one can take that section. <laughs> you gotta get there early to, to claim your spot. But yeah, so we're just we're down here. We're on Thursday. I think there's there's beard stuff, there's Friday beard stuff, there's Saturday beard stuff, and then uh Sunday a bunch of us are gonna go to Orlando and we're gonna go to an escape room and all kinds of random things. We're I gonna hope you do don't get out. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just stay in there. No, we were we were gonna go, go do like Universal or Disney or something like that. But uh, yeah, we tried that a few months ago and it was a disaster. Nat Natalie's kidney did not like going on any rides at all. It was definitely not the best idea we've ever had. So we we decided after the the Disneyland experience from a couple months ago that we're not going to do Universal or Disney. Well, that's not cool. So Natalie's. Sick kidney's not going to even get a farewell Disney trip out of the whole thing. It got a farewell farewell Disney trip a few weeks ago in Disneyland, but it's, and it didn't cooperate it, well it, well enough to get an, itself its very last one. What a, no. that kidney's just a jerk. It is a jerk, and it acted up, and it's it's not going to get another trip to Disneyland or World or Universal or anything. It's it's just going to go hang out in Orlando and. You know, watch me and John Abraham race go karts. Hashtag Natalie's kidneys a jerk. Yeah. Is it? Oh, Natalie said, unless Alan D. Eckert's kidney heals her entire body and then she gets to keep her other kidney and then it can go on other trips later in life. Oh, that's right. I forgot. It's, it's, it's stowing away as a passenger for a bit. 
yeah, so uh, apparently it's all going on the right side. We she found that out and as I opposed to the wrong side. Well, her, she already had her left one removed, so she, she just assumed the new kidney was going to go on the left side. But nope, they're putting it on the right side where her giant other kidney is. <laughs> wow! And then Corey. they just take a bunch of twisty ties and just tie them all together. Look at this, Corey Stovall, all the way from uh, Casper, Wyoming. Oh he's, wow! He's coming to to uh, Daytona now. Look at that. Casper in the house. Great. It's like one degree in Casper right now, I think, probably. Yeah. Tell yeah. Natalie's kidney to stop being a jerk. Yeah, I agree. But uh yeah, that's pretty much all I got going on. Do you have you have anything new and exciting going on, Scott Sakura? Nope. Just work projects, blah, blah, blah. But that's not as exciting as our guest who Bless is here. Our guest is here. I didn't even think about having him a cool picture it! oh well you know i blame because i was traveling anyway so and it's my fault too so uh, my apologies tonight we have the one and only mj johnson to talk all about the 2023 honest amish national beard and mustache championships in daytona beach florida this is the very important information episode everyone's been waiting for Mr. MJ Johnson, what is that? Hey. We're this here. Thing this thing on? Yeah. Yes, Hello. it is. Hello. And it's facing the right way and everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you guys know I had to fix Scott's microphone earlier uh, before when we were doing the test stuff. So, but it's all it's all working now. Yeah, Scott's microphone was just point, pointing. Yeah, it was pointing like, like that. If you have a microphone, it actually has to be pointed at, you, or it's going to work best that way. So yeah, we it'll work all, best. It it's got to point at you, Scott. It. Uh, there we. Uh, hopefully there that go. works now. Some people's like microphones that. are like pointing towards the ceiling. It's really strange. Yeah. Or if they're just super tiny. I gotta say, I really liked your guys' intro. Uh, I was sitting in the backstage watching the show, and uh, it's uh, it's really warm. Uh, you guys' uh, personalities shine through, and it's really fun. It's so, like a really genuine way. So it's Thanks. like it's like the first time we've ever met him and I. This is yeah. our first time together. First episode, right like here. That. Yeah, you could barely even tell. But uh, <laughs> so MJ, you're you're still uh, you're on your your trip to national still, right? Yep, I haven't left yet. Uh, I'm in uh, sunny Minneapolis with a couple inches of snow on the ground this morning. So, be uh, happy to get out of here. So <laughs> it's so you're it, it's it's currently well it's 73 now, but it was 81 degrees here today. So that's oh, it's going to be an enormous shock. That's nice. That's He's like, going to get sick. All the rest of the country is is frozen right now, but not Florida. All right, I won't bring my scraper then, so that's good news. No, I don't think you need it. Okay. What if you're buying lottery tickets, though? I mean, I hear the Florida lottery is pretty good. Lottery in mass, I could bring the the window scraper. Yeah, that's a good idea, Scott. I appreciate the help. See, Scott always coming through. I mean, he might not know how to work a microphone properly, but he knows high scrapers and scratchers. High scrapers and honest uh, Amish clothing. There you go. Yeah, he's a hat. Apparently, he's a... He's Hats a pro. He knows how to make Amish dresses and everything now. We just learned. <laughs> yeah. And uh, speaking of hats, you guys noticed the black backwards uh, ball cap yeah. for Halloween? And the black yeah. shirts. We're all going as each other. Yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm going as Aaron. Aaron's going as Scott. Scott's, Scott's going support. as me. And uh, it oh, looks like Scott, tell you, it looks like that. I'm looking into a mirror right now. I'll tell you. Basically. What. Look at this. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, God, look at me. God. I'm MJ. Look at me. Nailed it. <laughs> I got it done perfect. Look at me. Look at I like me. It. I like it. Dad, if we would have really planned that much better, I would have we would have all committed to this costume a little bit better. Yeah, well, I think we, we all pulled it off pretty well. I yeah. mean, I think you can definitely tell who I mean, a go to you is pretty simple. Oh yeah. There. Scott with the work Scott doesn't uh, smarter. Scott doesn't have glasses on, so I got I can't see shit. Like, <laughs> I should probably like it. talking to the camera. He's like I got hey, some. Uh, oh, hey, look at me! I'm Scott Sakura. Oh, I got glasses. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Could this all unfolding live on Talking Gosh. Beards tonight? This is so professional. I like it. Boom! That's the best you've ever looked, MJ. Dang, I will I say this. Get my you, glasses too. You really should. welcome to Talking Beards. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Well, I'm not even needed here. Yeah, I'm. Neither am I. Perry Johns is here, though. 
all the way from the UK. What's up, Perry Johns? Yeah, we have people from all over the world in Perry here. Johns. Like, Perry Johns. So MJ, what what all have you been up to, man? Like you your last beard competition was what nationals last year, huh? Yep, uh yeah. Casper. So wow. And we got somebody from Casper coming to this one. Yes. Won his category, right? He did. He he dude, his beard is amazing. Yeah. I Corey think, Corey Stovall. Cause he had the he had some really cool photos from the journalists that went around with us on the, the pub crawl on the Thursday. Okay. And then they ended up he ended up winning and then they had like a story. So they had like a whole bunch of like really cool mm-hmm. photos. So yeah, it was a it was a whole it was a whole cool thing. Yeah, it was a really good article that floated around about him. Yeah, it was it was cool that, you know. Casper's is coming to to Daytona, so that's nice. Back he, says, back. he says, "Hey MJ." So articles. Up, did you did you speaking of articles? There you go. So we should have that up. But it's uh, did you see the oh. beardcalendar dot com article, MJ? I did see that. I gotta say, yeah. I really like the beard calendar. Uh, yeah. Instantly, I'll tell you real quickly. Uh, I saw right when I saw it. I always like that type of stuff, but it reminded me of. Uh, when I had never been to a beard contest before, you ask yourself, where do I go to get into a beard contest? You know what I mean? Like I there remember was nothing. you would, you'd watch Whisker Wars and you're like, Oh, I want to go try one. Or you'd see an article on it. Didn't know. So eventually I found a, I found one online just on like a search. And it was literally uh, the first one I ever went to was Austin, Texas. Okay. And it was just because I saw an article online that they were having but that's all it takes to start a huge fun uh, journey. You know what I've, I mean? So I've met a few people that this is finding the beard calendar is how they got into bearding. Like they saw an article, just like you said, and they're like beard competition, Google. And they're like beardcalendar.com. And I mean, how nice is that? Like, have you ever had somebody come up to you and say, Hey, this, the first, re- that's the first beard contest I ever went to. And I found it through that. I mean, super I've, several times, man. And it's, it's, and if you've got a tattoo on their arm. Yeah, it makes me feel so good when and when that happens, you know, because that was the point, like just to try to get more people to these events and and it's working, I guess. Well, I tell you what, if we bump into anybody who found uh, nationals through beardcalendar.com, the three of us should talk to Johnny Awesome and maybe get beardcalendar.com tattoo on the shoulder. How about I can get beard and then he can get calendar and then you can get dot com. I want the run it. Let's uh, run it. Or we it's, could do like every other letter. Because it's the beard calendar.com. So yeah, then, that. Uh, but then it's gotta be like when we all team we get back to back to back in a photo. Yeah. And then it says that across the three shoulders. And then we could get those uh three so glasses. Our beards behind our shoulders when we do it. And then we could change that as the the top picture thing on the on the website. Just our tattoos. In the yeah, that's a great point, Alan Eckert. Even a great resource for veterans. Like if you've been to a million contests, but you just want to know what's the current uh, landscape look like, boom, beardcalendar.com. And we've well, got new people coming to nationals. Chris just said something about that. So. But they it also too is a resource where if you're going like maybe Al like veteran. Um, maybe he likes going to competitions that support veteran causes or mm-hmm. groups in the areas. And just like we say, each of these competitions, I mean, if you're not familiar with it, are sponsoring some local charity and yep. lots of them. I mean, they do lots of them do veteran things and stuff related to that. So a lot of veteran, a lot of uh, men's mental health here lately. Suicide prevention. Yeah, a lot of that. That's That's been the, the hot, uh, you know. Tamale at a lot of these, oh. yeah. The, the hot tamale, as they say, but yeah, is so, that current slang for what's hot? Is the hot tamale? It is now. Oh, All so right. let's, the hot tamale. I'm using it as a hashtag tomorrow on Instagram. Do it. So, okay. So one of the things uh, we have a, a, a guest in the uh, chat here. He asks when when do the tattoos uh, designs coming out? Looking there you go. so. This is something I didn't, I didn't realize that this person was going to be there and doing specific things. So let's, let's lead in with that. This is is something breaking. Everybody loves Johnny. Awesome. Yeah. He does great work. uh, But as uh, he will be at, uh, at Daytona and at, at nationals, but uh, for, uh, 
whatever reason, uh, I think it might have been on the the Peabody's end or for whatever. Uh, I think it was a city thing. It was a city ordinance. Yeah, thing. that's what a it tattoo, was. And it was just, yeah. That's you what can't have like awesome beards and tattoo within 50 feet of the same doorway at the same time. Pretty much. So it actually is looks like uh, one building over, but, but it, it's on the map and you can walk there. So it's super, it's actually kind of fun to kind of walk out and then go get a tattoo, walk back in, keep partying. So yeah, Johnny Awesome tattoo. We'll be there. Give him a shout out. I think uh, you, uh, you he does get busy. You book sure. your appointments through his Instagram. I do. Yeah, believe. that's and a good he- idea. And I got to tell you, I haven't seen uh, the Nationals specific ones yet, but I can tell you I have one tattoo and it is a Johnny Awesome design. You only have one tattoo? I have one tattoo, he he Johnny awesome. it, but then I didn't get a chance to get it from okay. him while I was down there. So I had to get it in Minneapolis, but I had, it's based off of Johnny Awesome's design. That's pretty cool. Did you, have you showed it to him? I have. And I told him, I was like, Hey man, I got this from somebody else, but this is, this is your thing. And he's like, Oh, that's he's like, he, he's so really glad you liked it and all that stuff. So I'm probably going to get another one from Johnny, so. but uh, specifically from him. <laughs> Adam, probably the best time to do it is, can you do it now? Can you do yeah, contact you can, him now? Go, Adam, go to the Instagram. It's Johnny Awesome Tattoos or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, what is that? It is something, but we'll we'll get you exactly. But I'm, I'm 95% sure that's, that's where he takes his. his uh, yeah, talk to him for sure. sure. Yeah, yeah Johnny it. Awesome Tattoos on Instagram. That's it. That's what it is. Uh, Ollie, I believe, like they said, it's going to be, he'll probably be set up a little bit here, a little bit there throughout the whole weekend. Yeah. So. He'll, he, he'll probably get in a couple of days early. He, who knows? It's Johnny. He, who yeah, knows? Talk, when to, it is. <laughs> talk to him and that's your best bet for the best information for sure. Cause it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Where we go? So let's let's get diving into this thing. So Nationals is coming up this weekend, Daytona Beach, Florida. Yeah, uh, 2023 National Championships, Honest Amish. Uh, yeah, starts on uh, on Thursday. Uh, everybody was there early, five o'clock. Uh, pub crawl starts. The Oyster Bar is okay. the is the first one, but there's a whole and bunch that- of them, and they're listed on NationalBeardChampionships.com. So you don't have to get there at five. You, whatever uh, whatever time you pop in. You should be able to find uh, the whole crew doing their thing. At whatever It'll be easy to right find because it's all right there on Main Street, and all the, all the pubs are like all within a couple blocks of each other. Main Street, yeah. super cool little area. It's got Is that a Dale car. Earnhardt's car, Aaron? It's Dale Earnhardt's first car, right there. Is wow. it for real? Oh, wow! Is it, is it diesel? It is oh, diesel powered uh, race car. Yeah. Dale Earnhardt invented it in 1976. Wow. I know. It was crazy. Right, right there on the beach of Daytona. I want your picture in front of that car. I want, we got to put it up on the show next week. I want you to right. be like exactly like that. Yeah, I'm you got to do that pose with the helmet and everything. Uh, yeah, I, I got you. I got to go find this car. It's got to be down there somewhere. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll find it. Make we'll it happen. Party. Or or you didn't go to nationals. We don't have a lot to do tomorrow. Tomorrow's kind of a pretty, pretty free day. So we'll go find this car and we'll take a picture of it. Oh my gosh. All right. So here's the three different bars. Is that it? Just the oh, three? It's more than that. Yeah. Four, five. Keep her cranking, Sakura. Wow. My finger was oh. getting tired going through all Ocean this. Ocean deck. All right. Let's start from the beginning. to midnight. Wow. So the first place is the Oyster Pub. Yeah, I bet Oyster they have Pub. oysters there. Popping um, in there. Uh, apparently, uh, pretty amazing uh, amazing food, but also oysters, if that's your thing. If you can imagine the Oyster Bar Pub hmm. having that. So, it's, yeah, so it's two yeah. hours there to kind of uh, let people gather in, let people get some food. Kind get of move started in there. And then off to the Main Street Station where the race car is. Serious? I, I think so. Isn't that what it said on the scrub? That's, what, that's what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it's where there it is. Main Street Station. Where stock Station. car right racing is born, Aaron. Boy, you're geez, you're gonna be in like your Mecca. We're ready. We're gonna go take so many pictures with that car. Dirty yeah. Harry's pub. I wonder if there's gonna be a, a someone gonna do, do Dirty Harry there. 
he didn't know what is, what is he, home a dirty 420 bingo you don't want to know oh Ooh. man until later that night then tune in and find out dirty harry's the you'll bank in blue you're lucky Club. you'll find out Froggy Saloon and the ocean deck to to kill the night off. Is that right on the ocean? It is, and it's ladies' night at Froggy Saloon. Ooh, so, come on. Oh, it's wow. It's ladies' night. Mm-mm-mm. It's feeling right. Oh, what a night. Something hey, like night. killing it. Well, I remember it. I used to be an earth, wind, and fire. That's right. Yeah, he was he fire. Was fire. He was fire. fire and earth, wind, and fire. So yeah, so pub crawl Thursday night. If you're in town, you can, you know, there's the list. It's easy to 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 find and it's easy. It's fun to move around as a big group. Uh partly because you get to see your friends, but partly uh it's fun to see uh strangers' reactions when that many people with wild uh facial hair are all in a group because you're bound to get like the the fun questions and then are the you ZZ questions. Top? Yeah, oh, is yeah. Doug Dynasty in town? They all, my, my favorite one is that they want to know is there a beard convention? It's not Ooh, like a, always it's a stuff. beard convention. That's what the that's the main one that you yep. <laughs> yep, the beard convention's in town. It's at the Peabody Auditorium all day Saturday. But and they're giving also, away free cars. Free cars, yeah, come in. <laughs> yeah. 16 right there. But also on Friday night, there's also beard convention things happening, right? Friday night, uh is gonna rip Friday uh, night's I mean, the night. It's a, it's already like it's like starts a Friday afternoon. I mean, like three o'clock, I believe. Just let me double check. Yeah, three o'clock. We're already starting like Guinness World Record attempts. So what? What's this is on, Guinness uh, Book of World Record attempts. What, yeah, what are we gonna do a, different from Casper? There's, there's so much rad stuff uh, happening. Like if you look up, uh, if you can Google image search Daytona Beach Pier, it's one of the most famous piers in Florida. It's blocked off for us only uh for that for yeah that if you're friday if night. you're a fisherman you're you're not you're not fishing on the pier on friday no not this time so the pier is where the guinness attempts are going to take place it's right in the ocean it's it's glorious view there's going to be drone footage like the footage we actually send in and november is going to help uh pump this one out on their videos and stuff too which is pretty awesome so Guinness uh, is going to see it. November is going to see it and it's going to roll. But in Casper, we set the record for the longest beard chain that, uh, you know, went pretty viral on uh, talk shows. USA it was like, a, like 109 feet, something like oh, that. Right? I think it was more than, I think it was like 150, but I have to, I'll have to double check on that one. But 150, we're going to so double. That was a beard chain. It has to be, you have to have a beard that's uh, comes up eight inches mm-hmm. uh, in length from your face. Um, mustache chain is one of the new ones added this year which is <laughs> which is going to be pretty wild so everybody uh and like uh we all wouldn't qualify no it's for mustaches or the mustache you'd have to be able to qualify for a national championship uh mustache category which means everything else has to so if you have a cool beard and a cool mustache you can't be in the 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 chain per Guinness's rule. So we're uh, that's one of the things with the Guinness World Records. There's a lot of rules. <laughs> 150 feet. There's a lot of rules. So uh, we got to follow them all for sure. So the mustache mustache <laughs> chain. We're gonna try to break our own beard chain for two. There's also gonna be a holla holla partial beard chain. There we go. We can all be in the partial another, beard chain. Another cool one. So this is one that I get to be in. It's fun. And, and uh, beard chain as well. So Aaron, if uh, I'll ask you right now, do you want to be connected to me in the chain? I mean, that sounds like a great place to be. So let's be connected together in the Scott, partial beard chain. Sorry. I'm not going to be there, but I, that would be a good sorry. one if you got to be the meet in the Scott and Aaron. We, well, that's, we're we're going to get beardcalendar.com and then get connected in the beard chain all for the photo. But I guess we, we should get like a whaler in there too. That'd be really good. Oh, that I sounds forgot. stupid. That's, but yeah. It's whaler time. It's yeah. whaler time. And we'll all be wearing whaler time shirts. And then, so that's three, but then <laughs> there, there's a three. But then also uh, craft beard chain. Craft which, beard uh, chain. From so, a design standpoint, is the one that gives uh, Brian the most question marks. You know what I mean? Because because right. <laughs> what is so craft beard chain uh, has to be a foot on either side of your face, and you right? have to uh, it has to be in a form that would qualify for a craft category too. So it has to follow those rules as well. But 
uh, it can't uh, touch the ground either because uh, it can be as long as you want, as long as it doesn't touch the ground. Go ahead, Scott Sakura. So since there is no record for this, technically if five people just show up and they put their craft beards together, they're going to have the world record for it, correct? That Maybe. does it not work that way. If you you would have a ch- you would have a chance to set it, and then if everything is properly formatted and then documented and then submitted and then okayed, then it you becomes. <laughs> So even when we do everything, it's pretty much just an attempt. And then if we dotted all our T's and crossed all our I's, <laughs> uh, maybe we'll get it. But yes, that would be, we're trying to set the craft beard record with this attempt for sure. I've maybe. got a good feeling that it's it's going to go well and it's going to be very crafty and then they're going to love it. Yeah, that's yeah, going to be interesting. That one's, a, that one's a, a wild one, that's for sure. You know, because it can be anything, you know. It's uh, it's gonna be fun. Corey stood next to you last year. He did. You, I did connect to a whaler already. It, it, was, whaler. it was it was a terrible experience the whole time. <laughs> I was like, I just felt wrong just being attached to a whaler. Uh oh, Stevenson letting people know he's coming. He's so coming. He's get in on the the mustache chain then. It mustache like. chain and mullet in the wind. Mustache. You just world. see that mullet just flapping by the by the ocean in the background. It's gonna be glorious. Oh, it'd be perfect. Imagine Stevenson mullet flapping in the wind, connected to mustache chain, drone goes by, ocean in the background, send Money. it to Guinness. That's, That's a good it. so that'd be and a good silhouette shot in the sunset. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, seriously, the footage from it is gonna be awesome. Seriously, Google search the the Daytona Beach Pier. It's all ours. And uh, we're breaking records, and is there we got a Joe, to isn't, for sport. It's gonna be great. Isn't there a Joe's Crab Shack there? Yeah. So yeah. what else is gonna happen that night, MJ? Then, uh, so after we uh, after we do the four uh, record attempts, uh, we're headed to the National Beard and Mustache Championships Exhibition Contest, which is uh, some fun categories. Friday night, some people aren't ready to take on people like yourselves uh, in the national championships, but they want to see what their beard or mustache can do and maybe get a little amuse-bouche of what the, what Saturday is going to be like. That's what I was thinking. The amuse-bouche. Yeah. Yeah. So November Mo surfer style, American mustache. I mean, talk about a really cool one to win. That one's like basically sponsored by the American mustache Institute with all the honest beard. nuclear mustacheology and then the honest beard good night who wouldn't want that that one's gonna be awesome beach comb over veterans beard seriously i mean you want to talk about the round of applause beard basically when that category starts that's the crowd favorite. well i don't know man the american mustache that's like that, what's Pretty more american there. than the american mustache the beach comb over the beach comb that, over that's what's more american Mm. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the uh, the best category of the evening for sure. The which beach one? Comb-over. The which beach comb over. Beach comb over. Yeah. Well, it's interesting you say that uh, there will be a favorite category because there will be three people that'll be the decision makers on that, or as far as who wins. Uh, we you have know uh, who these three decision makers are going to be. We do, and they haven't been announced yet. Oh so, my goodness. is this breaking news? Be- I saved it for you guys. This is breaking news. Oh my gosh, we got breaking news, Scott Sakura. Yeah, we do. All right. So the judges right. for National Beard and Mustache Championship Exhibition Contest is Robert Baker of TikTok fame. If you guys what? have never seen him before, it's like four million followers. Mister. And then, uh, a special report. For a special report, that, 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 uh, but then also, uh, oh, was that your your Robert Baker impression? That's yeah, what that was yeah. Oh, the, uh, the noise stuff. <laughs> He's uh, <laughs> I mean, I got a little stubble up top. I can do that too. You're rolling. <laughs> Look, we just got hundred thousand views. Beards. There we go. Yeah, but then also, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever uh, familiar with an old brand from back in the day. Beard Boss? Never heard of him. Well, it was pretty cool back in the day. And uh, former Beard Boss, James McMahon, 
Ooh. We make it a, a judging appearance. Uh, yeah, usually usually a, a high end competitor, worlds, nationals, wow. he's a good you know, tea, man, great American, every all, all the big contests. He's been there, he's going, but he's judging. So other people actually have a chance this time. So yeah, he's another one. But also, hair. mustache is way cooler than goatee. Agreed. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, I, I shots fired. Yeah, oh yeah, that's true. Bob and Elliot Norris will yeah, be there. Working they're both there. gonna be the there. one judge, but they will both be there. They only count as one point. They only mm-hmm. count as one point. So if you impress Elliot, it's like a half point. But then our final judge, uh, Anthony Cardi. I mean, uh, worlds, uh, nationals. He's actually going for his fifth. Uh, the drive for five. That's what he's drive saying. for five. That's and it. then uh, he'll be judging too. So. Lots of uh, beard knowledge on the judges panel. That's for sure. Yeah, lots yeah. of uh, TikTok videos, lots of ASMR, all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. Cardi and, and Bob are going to be making all the ASMR videos all night long. I can't you know, wait. It's going to be some good content for sure. You know what? I think, I Aaron, up. I think or you're on to something. I think next year there's going to be an ASMR category that's judged <laughs> by sound. <laughs> that's a good idea can well, we do that can we yeah, do that 100%. mj we we actually set up an only fan page like years ago with beard asmr yeah for beard we, asmr and or we just, just like beard brushing or whatever we just never did anything with it but yeah it's the like, asmr it's world, world record attempt i had a yeah. plan we might do this we might name a national Facial hair ASMR champion. I better talk to somebody who's an organizer. Oh yeah. I, well, I'll, I'll I'd vote one hundred percent for Bob for a, ASMR champion. He might be. Wait a minute. Uh oh. I just talked to Vegas. He is the he is the betting favorite as of right yeah, this moment. There you go, Bob. We're we're counting on you, Bob. We're putting all of our money on Bob to be the ASMR but national beard champion. Would you know? It's will the judges know that it's Bob by the sound? Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, for sure. Okay. For sure. Okay. Yeah, he's got a distinct, distinct. That was a for sure. Well, Bob's gonna win the first time, and then from then on, he's can only be the judge for every other. Be, but he might be the judge already, oh. so you, we would have an expert of the. We'll have to figure this. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. It's I offer good. my services to do like audio sampling and listening and all that Ooh, stuff. So okay. I do that. So all right. Well, we you're okay. You're in. You're in, Scott. You're the you're the audio video sampling person. Look at the I'm ASMR listening. category. I'm listening. Pooter scooter. All right. So that was that's that's Friday night. Friday night. Yep. It's gonna be awesome. Jimmy Preston, MC. I mean, he had people in tears. He got so emotional last little year. Jimmy. Had a good time. Oh. Little Jimmy. Little Jimmy's coming. He, he, little, you make sure you request little Jimmy. It'll make oh. the night so much more more fun. Little Jimmy is in the back pocket and he's making an appearance. Oh, sure. You heard it here first. That's the biggest breaking news on That's Talking Beards. Breakage. Huge. Huge. Little little Jimmy may may make an appearance Friday night. An ASMR category. <laughs> <laughs> you really so you planted it. a seed tonight. <laughs> I'm doing it. He's like, how can I do this? That's so funny. All right. So Saturday. We're, look, you know, we're we're getting to the venue at six forty-five a.m. Wow! To start yeah. getting ready. Wow! Yeah, we can't set up Friday night, so that's one of the little things that a lot of people don't know about Nationals. Right. Friday night, usually, we can at least like get to the venue and and at least partially set up. Right. And this is not at all going to be the case. There's some sort of I don't know. Ario Speedwagon is there or something Friday night. Is that what it is? I don't know. I have no idea who it is. It's somebody. It's someone. I did the or... uh, performers who have is performed at the Peabody, and it's the names Elvis Presley. I mean, everybody. Everybody. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Incredible. Is Earth, it? Wind, and Fire. Were you in the band at that time? That was way, way before I was. <laughs> the Crack of Dawn crew. Yeah, that'll be us because. Yeah, yeah, 645. We're, yeah, that's really it's, it's, uh, it's good pointing out the, uh, the usually we do get to load in the day before. Uh, yeah. I mean, shout out to Kelly uh, on our team for or getting all, all this stuff done to just show up and just like create this incredible atmosphere on the fly and then have no load in day <laughs> the previous day. But 
uh, she's been in contact with them for months. And uh, it's, there's a couple of things that are really advantageous too. the loading day would have been nice, but, uh, but we will get it done. It's, uh, it's Absolutely. Gonna- yeah. We're, we'll get there. And uh, the, the, the Peabody has people ready to start helping and they all have a plan. So well, that's just, like- yeah, I guess we get some amazing stage manager. Yeah. Who's used to how things work man. at the Peabody. And yeah, he's we like usually the have Peabody's from guy. the Austin crew as a as the stage manager, who is awesome at it. But it, it will be a twist this year having like some expert with the headset mm-hmm. on, making sure everything is what it is. So it, I think it's going to be really cool this year. So the the there it is. So it's the guitarist from Jethro Tull has a tribute Jethro Tull band that's playing the night before. That's playing the night. That it's not Jethro Tull. We could definitely go in Friday night and set our shit up. And that's what band <laughs> that's what band sat score is in? No, no, God, no. Oh what? Earth Wind and Fire. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Earth Wind and Fire. All right. Back on track. Back on track. Back on track. So Saturday, Saturday guys, MJ. You're getting you're getting into the venue Saturday morning. You're getting all set up. You're getting well, all yeah. your vendors put together. You're getting the whole layout. You can buy these hats. The venue. So as we say vendors, what do we got? What are we looking for for that this year? The uh, It's going to be really fun. I mean, have you guys ever heard of Honest Amish? No. They're going to be there. They're, they're a pretty good product. I heard they got the, uh, the Monopoly on backwards black hats. Yep. That's the best place to get backwards black hats, Honest Amish. That's where I'll be going for sure. Uh, once you crack in, you'll get a little bit of a, a glimpse of it all. But uh, 9 a.m. is uh, uh, registrations begin. So a lot of people are going to be registered already. But uh, the doors aren't until 11 a.m. But uh, registration is open and uh, file in there. Get it all taken care of. Uh, you know, if, you, if there's any questions, it gets ironed out then. If you haven't signed up yet, you're, uh, there will be a cutoff time. And that's uh, up to... Pretty much good Taylor. <laughs> if she says it's over, it's over. So you're gone. So so official registration closes at noon. But right. but I think, well, you know. Yeah. As long as your category's on stage, you're probably fine. But I you wouldn't I wouldn't. Be. Yeah, you right. might be fine. Yeah. Don't count on it. Don't do not. Yeah. Registration closes at noon. Try to be there by noon, you know, and, and the event will get going and then we'll make it happen. Yeah, competition starts eleven thirty. Okay. Like the first category. So even like if it's open till noon and your category is going, it's you, you don't need to play it that close. So probably probably register ahead of that time. But but most importantly, the goatees go on stage at one. So as well, long as you're in your seat by one o'clock, the, that's when the real show starts. I mean, everybody has the favorite category. We know the world that's their favorite category. So we're like, we got to have it at one. Yeah, one o'clock. Bet number best. You got to do what the market demands. All right. Yeah, so, what like time? That. So, it kicks off at like twelve thirty or so. Eleven thirty scheduled, but then uh, the day of uh, schedule will be posted. You know, uh, uh, a much more accurate one once we have all the information that day. It'll be posted, and it's hard to say. Like uh, this category is going to start at three eighteen. Yeah. You know, we don't know that yet. So. Yeah. So, how many categories? Gosh. See that we don't even know that yet. Uh, there's up- upwards of fifty, but if there isn't enough in a category, then there that one gets eliminated. So, what is the official category number? Is like fifty two, correct, or fifty four? So, I think it's down now. I think it's four. It's forty seven. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, and then plus whatever Friday night stuff is. So, what was it was that? At, it was at fifty four, and then we eliminated all the goatee categories. Mm-hmm. And then we got it. Yeah. And then like nobody showed up because then the goatees didn't go on stage. So they're like, what's the even point of going? The goatees the are yeah. So then the goatees are back in Daytona. So the, that was, that was, the goatees are back. The goatees are back. So don't. That's actually the official hashtag this year is the, the goatees, goatees are back. The hot tamale. Hot tamale. And, and the goatees, the goatees are tamale. back. It's and the goatees are a hot tamale. And Natalie's kidney's a jerk. Yeah, those are the two hash. Those are the two official hashtags <laughs> of the uh, nationals this year. This is great. If, if we get Natalie's approval. So let's. Uh, okay, so now we have a, an undefined amount of categories. So once uh, we get all these categories up 
onto the stage, who's going to be introducing these people and who's going to be judging them? Well, Mr. Uh, Doctor, Mr. Doctor, Adam Paul Cosgrove. Mr. Of, uh, Doctor. My BFF. American Mustache Institute fame, uh, a degree in nuclear mustacheology, among other things. He's so good. He's so him. good. I uh, love him so much. Well, he was amazing in Casper. He did. He's a killer for real. Phenomenal. Aaron, he's amazing everywhere. Yeah, well, I was just speaking specifically for Casper. Obviously, he's amazing wow, everywhere, but he God, was right. amazing. Talk together. about my friend that way. He's got super high energy, and you think that like that's like the best part of it until you see like how much he likes and thinks facial hair is cool. So you think like that's the best part of it. But then he's got like an English, he's got like a doc PhD in English or something like that. But you hear his vocabulary just on, even if you're at the bar, it's this like this like uh, uh, like poetic vocabulary. He's but when a, it's on stage describing stuff that he likes, uh, the vocabulary is awesome. I, I was introducing him to somebody one time and I was just going, laying on too, way too thick about how awesome a vocabulary he has. And I go, hey, what do you think about that, Adam? And he goes, eh, that's good. So yeah. Perfect. Best him. vocabulary ever. He's a linguist. He's a linguist. I, yeah, mean, I, think he, I think he's a grant writer, if I remember correctly. Something something along the lines. He's a of what? A grant writer. Oh, okay. I don't even know what that means. He you writes write very fancy grant. letters to get money from the government. Oh, that makes very sense. Very heavy on the very. I mean, yeah. So you got to have cool. like the vocabulary of, of an Adam Cosgrove type. And he's got it. He's, he's got, got it. it. That's good. And he also uh, helps people start 501 C threes. So, mm. so that'd be a good, uh, good reason for him to come on the show. And, and, you know, it's been many a phone calls stuff. about that already. So, but anyways, let's, okay. So Adam, cause I'm already looking at the time. I'm like, wow, we're just going. Oh, we got to go. No, we don't have to go anywhere. Uh, yeah. We can, we can go long. We can go long, right. but, well, um, yeah. yeah. So let's talk about the judges now. Yeah, for sure. Well, we got one of them uh, right in the background of uh, Aaron's video camera. Uh, best in show at the last world championships. Am I correct? Yeah, best in show. She's a beast. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, pretty good resume right there. I mean, the her list of uh, awards goes on and on. But I mean, I think uh, that one's <laughs> that's at the top. Much, you know the deal. Not much you can do past that right <laughs> uh, we got uh joshua jolly uh representing death grip nice so we got uh, the mustache gang in the house uh natalie wright a local uh hair uh expert uh beards partially but mostly you know hair up in the top big huge expert uh john rice uh, a mega veteran and actually uh underground legend uh, some of the more modern competitors aren't maybe not quite as familiar with John Rice. I would recommend a Google image search, John mm -hmm. Rice beard. And then that picture is going to pop up. Is yeah. Yeah. Cool? Like with the 2009 or 2010 uh, national championships, you just had this really elaborate uh, freestyle beard. And that kind of went uh, one of the first like viral photos. Uh, but he also had this really cool beard braid. And it's, 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 it's super red. It's super long. He had a Michael Jackson jacket on with it, all these zippers. I ended up seeing it in like a GQ article or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that beard picture floated around for a good while. People but, would use it as their profile pics and pretend to be him. I remember thinking like, dude, you ain't John Rice. You're not John. <laughs> yeah, and, and I don't yeah. think he looks like that anymore. I think he's got a new look that he's, he's going to debut. I, it's yep. Yeah, I got it. He, he has a new look, a new style. So whatever you find on the internet is not that anymore. Apparently, I don't even know what the new style is, but I got to tell you, I'm very excited to see it. I will say that because John Rice is actually one of the people that inspired me to get into it in the first place. With this those, right there's there's the one. There it is. That's there the, is. that's the legendary picture right there of John Rice Beard. Right that's there. him. That's him. That's him. Yeah. Right there. Stop. Scroll over there. Show that. Show the. Show the one. I don't know what you're talking about. You want? Oh, this. I'm the Michael one. Jackson jacket. That one, that's it too. That one's a good one. That's in Charleston. That's that's what he looked like when I met him. I mean, it's a killer. It's like 2014. But the Michael Jackson jacket with this beard braid. That's Pretty it. awesome. I mean, everybody wanted to have a super long beard after that one came out. 
gnarly gnarly Even my mom yeah that's i remember true, that that's true uh we gotta have uh the mustaches uh taken care of for sure we get, speaking of judges yes jerry oh, rice no jerry rice is younger brother no Daniel Command is here. Dan C. Bearded. Dan C. Bearded. Speaking of judges, uh, Dan Dan C. Bearded judging nationals the first time. We got to say, it's it's really nice to see somebody putting so much uh, video content and uh, he is he uh, is unbelievable with the amount of content, facial hair, and it just like uh, perpetuates and continues. Awesome dude, all around. Yeah, having him on the panel is going to be really big. uh, the, the judges are the tastemakers of what uh, defines like a national champion and having somebody on there like that is really important for us. So. Yeah. His, his knowledge of beards and beard growth and beard care is just far beyond what anyone else who's making videos out on YouTube and talking about products and all that stuff. He just has such a great general knowledge of everything revolving beards. And that's yeah. I, I it's mad respect for him. As beard. someone who knows about beards, but also as a person, as a family man, and as a friend, I mean, he's just an awesome dude. Yeah, for sure, Ski. What was that, Natalie? I don't. Jethro told Martin Barr is what's performing tomorrow. Yeah, we've already had that full on discussion. Oh, Jethro <laughs> told well, he's at the bar tomorrow. Night. Je- Jethro Toll's, uh, uh band is going to be performing Friday night. That's right. Yeah. He beat Metal. Now it's official. Natalie told us. And now, it's <laughs> uh, but also on the judges panel, uh, you already commented earlier. Uh, he's getting into the mix with the mullet, getting in the mix with the mustache. John Stevenson representing Florida and mustaches among other things. Woof. Oof. 50 plus. I was going to sneak beer on stage. Now I'm thinking I need to pri- prioritize Red Bull. <laughs> yeah. Red Bull Ooh. will be your friend. John Stevenson. And we will bring the Red Bulls to you, my friend. That's right. You know, that's won't happens. be any sneaking going on. <laughs> when you're a judge, you get VIP treatment. Yes, that's right. And then uh, also for uh, to make it official uh, of the uh, Daytona area, uh, Derek Feature is coming on, and he's the city manager. So uh, okay, you know, he said we have. Uh, he's going to let the all the police know that we can pretty much do whatever we want and stuff. Nice. So, uh, it's nice having somebody like that in your corner. Unless you what have is that. When does that start that we can do whenever we want? I'll have to run it. I'll have to see, get that information. It's a little bit unclear at this time. It's not now. It's not now. Okay. Okay. You can wait on that for sure. I'll wait then. That's fine. But also uh, he does have a, he does have a cool beard and it's nice to see uh, people in public office uh, get to high positions uh, and represent the facial hair community. You know what I mean? Plus it's local to the area. So it's actually really nice. Uh, and then uh, for another national champion from a different, uh, to- a totally different uh, ele- element, um, Daniel Ziegler, uh, the national natural bodybuilding champion. This is actually his third time judging. He, ju- he judged the online comp in 2020. Then he was in Casper last year, and now he's judging again this year. So uh, that's cool. Most, Some bringing another national champion from something else yeah. over to this side. Pretty neat. He always he has just, like a super rad beard. It's mostly a beard, but he will also quick take it all down and just go stash. He'll take it down and go beard stash uh, on his Instagram account. There's a lot of like styling stuff. It's uh, so uh, the knowledge is really good. And now he has a lot of championship judging experience. So it's really fun having this, uh, this crew on. Oh, and then also I'm judging as well. So never heard of you. Never yeah. heard so this is a thought Nerd, you guys just kind of brought it up but what about a judging panel of national champions from just different everything's like, like everyone that judges is i mean i understand it's a beard competition i mean that would right. work for a different competition if it wasn't so serious like all right never mind uh, never mind it was just really dumb it's not dumb. It's actually a really good idea. I mean, that's I part of the that's part of the with Daniel Ziegler is you know you get like a national champion from another uh, national so, bass fisherman who you know wants some awesome. you know beard experts specifically uh, in the mix as well. But yeah, it, we, we'll see. We'll see. We might do that. We might do that. National horse trainer. Horse they trainer. Like, they know about horse hair. See. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. So Saturday. Beer competition uh, should be over by eight o'clock at night. Hopefully, 
maybe something like that. Just depends because uh, everything I've heard, yeah. you know, this is this has been one of the the biggest pre registration nationals we've had in quite some time. So things are going beer, good. Things are going um, good, but beer people be, like uh, to wait to day of to register. So who knows how many people's live will show up at this thing? Yeah, it gets uh, gets pretty intense. There's going to be some. Uh, some uh, champions crowned and there's always some broken hearts too. So you gotta, but you gotta, you gotta pay to play. You gotta get in the mix. You gotta put your best foot forward. Best and, uh, forward. Find a way to have fun. You know? If I can win, anyone can win. Mm-hmm. All you gotta do is get on stage. And kiss That's the truer forward. words ever. Been hello. Said. Hello. Have you not seen me lately? Hello. Okay. And I won twice. <laughs> Two times. Yeah, national champion. Can win, anybody can win. That's right. If I will, yep. <laughs> so, so what else? So that's Saturday, that's all Saturday. day events. Do we have anything scheduled for Sunday or is it just like everybody you're out of here now? It's a, it's a little bit open. Uh, we'll see. It'll probably just be like uh where does everybody want to meet up kind of a thing. Okay. So pretty much nothing official on Sunday. People meet up in hotel lobbies and and maybe wander around. Maybe stick a de- stick around for a couple of days. I know we're not the only group that's. Are going you staying to down there? Yeah, we're going Sunday. We're going to go to Orlando for a couple of days, and nice. most of the people that are staying with us are also going to do that. So we're we're just going to go to Orlando and go Our you day. know go drive some go karts and maybe go to a car museum. Maybe go to some escape room. Might just go to the mall and walk around. Who knows? Are you going to an escape room? Yeah. I hope you get locked in there. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I hope you do, though. I'll kick the door in. No, you I'll, won't. I'll get out, for sure. Not that we talked about this earlier, but as I was perusing the website, I came across this. Ticket proceeds from the National Beard and Mustache Championship and uh, Exhibition Show Benefit Volusa County Hurricane Relief Fund, Movember, and Equality Florida. So what can you tell us about those? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, when you go, when you think about Daytona, you mostly think about, you know, great weather or racing and stuff like that. But it's always, um, you know, in the line of fire for the natural elements. So, I mean, anything, uh, you, you, we've all seen the videos, like the, the people that do like the hurricane relief. I mean, you literally, somebody's just had their life turned upside down. There's still it. stuff down here that's messed up from hurricane last year. So they're, you know, yeah. they're still in desperate need of hurricane relief. Yeah. You can never, yeah. It's, they can never catch up on it and you never know when the next one is. Uh, but, uh, you know, they get really good at being able to identify what it is that they can help best at and who needs it. And it's a really good one. I mean, it's, pre- it's pretty awesome. In November, I mean, Everybody knows what the deal is there. I mean, I, I think they've set the, uh, I think they're the, I don't know if it's a Guinness world record, but I think that they worldwide raised the most money for cancer research over the past, whatever it is, like 15 years, however long. That That's pretty cool. So they've actually raised the most. So, I mean, <laughs> pretty cool stuff. We were talking about that earlier. A lot of uh, contests do uh, like men's health or, uh, you know, what were, what were you saying were some of the other common ones? In, in so common we've, ones? we've been doing uh, military and men's mental health a lot here. Okay, here. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, a lot of the – that's one of the main topics. That's one of the, one of the reasons why we like to have nationals in November, too, is uh, the, when places the, are ready to, to yeah. for some content about mustaches and facial hair, boom. How about you have a party with these uh, national championship uh, portraits? That's one of the reasons they kind of all go viral because that's the it's good timing and stuff like that. So, and that's one of the other things that people need to keep in mind. Like when you go to the exhibition show or go to the contest, it is difficult to win. Uh, it's it's not a guarantee of anything, but uh, get in the mix with the portraits is like a whole side thing on its own that you win just by participating. There you just, go. Speaking oh, of the portraits, we're we're yeah. going to have a little bit different uh, photographer with us this year. You want uh, to every year about that? The past uh, nine or ten years, it's been Greg Anderson or Jeffrey Mustache, and we don't have either one of them this year. So, we'll, but we do have somebody neat in uh, LJ, what she likes to go by. Uh, this is her. She just shot the LA comp. See a lot of. Uh, Nate Johnson in 3D photos. Uh, a lot okay. of people, Anthony Cardi right there. He's judging yeah. at the exhibition show Friday. Don't you judge me, Cardi. 
That's and right, Cardi. He's going to be judging you. But so, yeah, yeah. She's, she's a super uh, professional photographer. We've been running around with her the last couple of years. Uh, she's a delight to be around. She's got a really nice website. She takes incredible photos. She's she's just a she's a great person. We, yeah. we really really like her. And when it all came up and and Greg had something else he could do, and I guess uh, Jeffrey Mustache had prior obligations as well, yep. reached out to M, uh, LJ and and she was more than happy to do it. And I think I I know she's going to do a, a tremendous job for this event. Yeah, it's always interesting to see what uh, the photographers want to do for their portrait. So I actually don't know the the backgrounds that she's looking at or with the lighting situation, but uh, I know there was like this style from L.A. And Aaron, were you in the Beards by the Bay one as well? Uh, yeah, so Beards yeah. by the Bay. Uh, that was, she, like the, was that like a black uh, background? It was. And those were shot with different lighting and stuff. It was really yeah. cool. So it'd be interesting to see... Uh, which what she's going to do. So yeah, she'll be there Friday night as well. So she's going to take a lot of cool shots like that with the beard chain and she'll just be floating around. And then she's our, you know, professional headshot. Yeah. Extraordinaire on uh, Saturday. And speaking of that, I mean the beard chain and the photo, I mean, it's like the photo that just yeah. keeps going and it's, I mean, you got to get those like for you, any, you want to get in that. You don't miss out on your portrait. I mean, I tell, I try to tell people the second they walk in, I'm like, Hey, find time to go yep. sit with the, and then somebody will say, Oh, I will, I will. And then the photos end up some cool place. And then they're like, Oh, I forgot to go or they put it you off. You can't or, forget. You have to get professional headshots when you, you got to go, go get the portrait, go get the portrait. It helps the, like if you win, it helps the nationals keep a uh, documentation too of what your beard looked exactly like that day. You know what I mean? So because I mean, all the, all the winners, won. all the and winners show up on the, uh, the nationals website. Oh yeah. So we gotta, you gotta have your professional headshot. It's important. Gotta have it. All right. Well, uh, is there anything else that you, you think we need to, you know, let people know about this upcoming event that's happening this weekend, November 4th in uh, Daytona beach, Florida. I merch. don't. There's merch. The I think it's, well, that's all I can say. It's going to be awesome. There's going to be all kinds of cool ways to win. So, uh, yeah, check it out. See you guys. More, think more, than, more than one way to win a beard contest. Yeah, for Jason. sure. All the time. Raising money for charity, making new friends, network with people. There might be business stuff that you can do out of the deal. You're going on vacation. It's art. It's sport. It's competition. I mean, it's sick. You get to uh, do your think about your outfit for like six months in advance if you want, or you can show up in a t-shirt. You know, maybe that's your style. It doesn't matter. You or win either just way. Show up in nothing. That's fine too. Oh, that's inappropriate. Okay, not at this one. Anyway. <laughs> it's a little bit we're, more. We're close. We're close. We're close. We're close. Esteemed, as they say, Aaron. It but is. I do want to say thank you to you two for having me on. Uh, I think you guys yeah, do a great man. job, and uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you. You, uh, you know. yes. We appreciate we, you oh, coming on. Yeah. Yeah. We always love having you on. We really need to do it more often. We should do like at least a quarterly, quarterly, quarterly meetups with MJ. MJ. GQ, TBQ. Let's do it. Talking beards quarterly with MJ. Yeah, like and it. you can, and that, I mean, that, and that'd be a good time cool. to kind of talk. I mean, this, let's get this penciled in, but good time to like, if we do it quarterly, we can be doing updates on what the latest update on what the nationals are doing next year. Yeah, well, okay. With the really cover, I'm going to have an update on the ASMR category. No, all right. So put sure. that in the notes. He's already on it. He wants that title. I'm coming for it, Bob. Listen, I'm coming for it. <laughs> I might even make a heavyweight championship. Oh, look out, Bob! Wow, I just lost. Yep, that's what happens when you have a nice big volume knob. Oh, I was wondering why you now you're blowing the speakers. Out. No, it's <laughs> automatic it's automatically I was turning it down, but it's automatically setting itself now. Oh my gosh, you're so loud. Wow. <laughs> I, we're good now. I turned it the wrong way. <laughs> All right. Well, awesome. MJ, thank you for coming by, man. So much thank information. We we always appreciate you. And uh yeah, this this weekend, man. Saturday, if you're you're in the southeast part of the country, you, it's an easy drive to Daytona Beach, Florida. Really, if there's a road, there's an easy drive. Just 
be be clear of snow and stuff if you're coming from Minnesota. Apparently, right. it's, it's snowing. <laughs> well, I dude, even Dan Dan Seabeard had said it's snowing up in Michigan. It's snowing in Ohio. Jeez. It's not snowing in Daytona Beach, Florida. Get your butts down here. That's right. See you in Daytona. Yeah. See you, MJ. Thank you for stopping by, man. See you Good guys. luck, everyone. That was MJ. All right. Oh, breaking hold news. on. Natalie I'm getting started. breaking news. What? Not breaking news, but anyone doing the world records to be at Joe's Crab Shack Pier no later than 30. Yeah. So if you're doing the Friday night stuff, if you are going for a Guinness Book of World Records attempt, you have to be there at the venue by three o'clock. So there, there's the beer competition stuff Friday night, and you can kind of get here, you know, right before the event or whatever. But like for the Guinness Book attempt, you have to be on site by three o'clock because there's there's lots of li- like you have to be checked, you have to be measured, you have to have your picture taken, you have to be in order. Like there's be lots if you're going to do the Guinness, process. yeah, if you're going to do the Guinness Book attempt, be early. That's it. Be be there before three o'clock on the pier next to Joe's Crab Shack. Daytona Beach, Florida. It's going to be amazing. I'm super sad you're not going to be here, man. Like, man, sucks. <laughs> Maybe next time. I hope so. I hope so next time. So Talking Beards can take over Nationals again because because uh, Death, so- Death, <coughs> Death Grip's bringing a podcast. We got booted out, Scott Sakura. That's all right. We've been there, done that. So Two, they- two somethings and a penny. Two. I don't remember what it was. Two dimes, two dimes and a nickel or something a quarter um, four quarters make a it's penny two, and a it's two di- and that's the podcast it's two dimes and a something podcast a bird a two dimes and a bird pooped on you <sighs> my arm stinks <laughs> i cleaned it off and everything Man. Uh, uh, anyway. but, well to find out more about that and then we definitely would love to get those guys on the show yeah, talk sure. to them i mean talk to them about you know at some point we'll get we'll you know we always love talking to new shows and meeting new people out there. And um, yeah, yeah so. I'll make the connection and then, you know, we'll have the two dimes and a, and a bird poop on, on our podcast and talk to them. Bird pooped on my arm. Burp, yeah. Two dimes and a bird pooped on my arm podcast. But I think that's it, man. I guess. All right. So yeah, it's like it, at the end of every show, like I say to everyone, make sure you guys all go over to honest And when you're done, Loading your card up, Talking Beards is the promo code. It'll get you 15% off. Make sure you go to thebeardcalendar.com and uh, see what events are going on near you. And if you're throwing an event, let us know about it so we can get it up there so everyone can hear about it. And everyone, make sure they have one of the most amazing weekends in Daytona Beach at the 2023 Honest Amish National Beard and Mustache Championships. We love you all. We thank you all. And we greatly appreciate you. Everyone that's traveling, make sure you be safe. Take care. Be safe, y'all, man. Freaking, it's snowing everywhere. Be careful. Don't, don't, and mm-hmm. don't forget to check all your candy before you eat it tonight. There you go. Check your candy. Everybody have a great night. And uh, if you're coming to Daytona, I'll see you this weekend. If not, we'll, uh, we'll see you soon. God bless. Okay, bye. I said God bless. Thanks for tuning in to Talking Beards. Make sure you go over to honestamish.com and use promo code TALKINGBEARDS to get 15% off your order. Don't forget to tune in live next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern at talkingbeards.com.